everyone. This is Long. Welcome to my channel. This is my first uh, tutorial video about Gu Zheng. Like you see, this is the instrument. It also called Zheng in Chinese. And if you translate it into English, you might call it like Chinese zither. It's beautiful. It's quite popular in China right now. And you can find a lot of uh, amazing YouTubers playing this instrument. But unfortunately, only a few people like doing tutorial videos in English. For my knowledge. That's why I'm here. Like I love this instrument and I want to share my passion to the world. Uh, yeah, also my English is limited, but I'm trying my best. And it's kind of a self-teaching process as well. I just record this process with you, and we can help each other, right? So let's introduce this instrument first. How it sound? Like an instrument. Like it sounds beautifully, just simply. Baking, right? Jaja, -ja, are you agree with me? Mm. See? It's beautiful. But that's the right side. Do not play on the left side. It sounds like this. <laughs> like something you heard in some, uh, like uh, how to say? Uh, let me think about this. Horrible movies, right? Like something, some kind of ghosts coming up. But you usually play on the right side like leave the left side but it doesn't mean left side you do not need to play it no you need to play with your left hand you need to push down like this make the uh, right side string a little bit vibration differently see something like that and you see this is do Right, me, so, la, do. It does not have far and t. So you need to use your left hand to achieve that one. Like. Sorry. My right hand is busy for the video shooting. I have to use my left hand to uh, do all these things. So it sounds a lot ugly. But no, it shouldn't be like that. And the price of this instrument is about like basic ones. You might pay around $400 for the instrument by itself. Like the whole instrument is made of piece of wood, not a one piece of wood. Like at least the top or back, a one piece of wood. And like guitars, like depends on what kind of wood you're using your instrument. The price are variable, right? So the basic ones is about four hundred dollars. For my, <laughs> it's about. In US dollars, two thousand dollars. It's made of uh, Dun Huang, uh, the biggest uh, guzheng maker uh, in China currently. If I'm wrong, just correct me. Am I wrong? I'm not a musician. Like by the way, I study about virus. So playing this instrument is kind of my hobby. And you see a poem at the head and also you see a poem here right 
It's decoration. You need to pay money for this kind of decoration, right? And <laughs> for guitars, you need to pay more money for the inlays, right? The design for uh, these kind of markers. Well, for Guzheng, the same thing. Well, you can find some even higher price the Guzheng, like they use some kind of silver or gold as the decoration. So you need to pay money for that. Oh, well, for mine, even at the back. Let me see if I can do it by my left hand or not. Actually, this one is not very heavy, but compared with the $400 Guzheng, this one is heavy. I will try my best to let you see. See? There are some kind of Chinese characters there, right? It's kind of not a poem. So you need to pay more. <laughs> That's the game. That's the market, right? Even though I do not know these poem very well. And the piece of wood made this guzheng is kind of uh, rare as well. It's made of a uh, yellow saddle, if I remember correctly. For new learners, I do not recommend you to buy this piece because it costs more, right? And you do not know how long you will learn it. And second, this one is much heavy, heavy than the $400 one. Like once I've been on stage, wow, oh my God, that's terrible. <laughs> Well, that's good exercise, right? And if you want to buy Guzheng, you need to buy the stand as well. For my stand, it's kind of each shape. It looks good. It looks so gorgeous. But I do not recommend this one. Buy a cheaper one, like the A-shaped one. That's, that's more portable. You see? In, on the top my guzheng, there are a lot of hairs on my cat. All the cover this guzheng one, I did not use it, right? Still, this one, this big guy, is a dust collector. <laughs> so, prepare yourself a cover. That's important. And buy yourself a set of spare strings is important too. Like for these higher ones, string one, two, three, four, like half it, you need like one or two set of spares. For these base ones, mm, you do not need to change it all the time. But I've learned from other teachers, like at least you need to change all sets of strings one year. Well, I changed my strings, although there's no defects for my strings from the appearance. But once I changed the whole set, wow, that's a new job. Well, we're talking about price, right? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> get away from that one. Like uh, the $400 one is good enough for beginners. My first one, yeah, it's about that price. I've used that one for 10 years, I believe so, because I uh, started my PhD in the US, then I bought another one. Like, I want to share this instrument to the world. That's why I buy an expensive one. So you see, there's a vase of water. Why? Because this is wood. <laughs> Humid is important. My first one, the whole back is cracked because of the humidity. And for the northern part, currently I'm living in New York. Like during winter, uh, when the warmer is on, the humidity is about 20%. And this happened. See my top? See? See? 
see these cracks? Oh my god, heartbreaking. Therefore, buy yourself a little bit cheaper one as a beginner. You need some time to learn how to take care of it, right? <laughs> and you need a stool like this. Yeah, some kind of other chair is also acceptable. Uh, for me, I choose because uh, choose this one because it looks like a set, right? My gujar is this color. My stew is this color, and my stand is this color, right? So, yeah, this is a a set. <laughs> but if you do not want to buy a special like stew for it, like a uh, cracked. Height one should serve you very well as as well. What's the height? That's important. Like for the young learners, like here, it should like there's a middle point at your belly, right? Just at the same level. And if once you play it, you should sit at the right side of it. And you need at least one point five fist away from the jung. That's the good position for me. And do not sit in the middle of the jung, okay? Because let me change hand to show this video. Like once you you hear the sound. This is the uh, front bridge. Once you close to the bridge, it seems like um, the sound is more solid. Well, once you play in the middle, it's softer. So we, wow, I never played like at this part of a bridge here. I do not know how to translate these ones. Like you can move these ones actually to make it tone differently. And yeah, another thing, by yourself, picks. Picks is important too. Currently I'm using my bare hand. Yes, you can use your bare hand to play it. Eh? And I have some nails, right? I keep these nails for guitar playing, not for guzheng. But buy yourself a set of picks for both hands, like left hand and right hand. Um, size. There are three sizes for the picks. Uh, small, medium, and large. For me, adult woman. I use medium size for young children, small. Well, for guys, use large, please. And what else? Yeah, maybe you need to tone it by yourself. You need to download some kind of software to tone by yourself, right? And to tone it, you see the head? It's not just a decoration, it's hiding something here. <laughs> yeah, here are my pigs. You see? You see? These are my rent, uh, uh, like pigs. And these ones, see? Can tune your guzheng. You need to, when you buy guzheng, ask them, you need this one, like kind of a wrench, if it's crackly, like you can turn it here. I do not want to try it because uh, currently my guzheng sounds good. I do not need to tone it to change the tone, right? So. If you 
Want to know more details? Just wait for me. I might play, uh, prepare for more for the coming month. Uh, as a young scientist, I do not have a lot of time to play it. And you see in my channel, I have shared some pieces played by me. But if you want to play good, it needs some time to practice, right? So I do not have a lot of time to practice one. And I still want to share my passion about this instrument. That's why I try to make some tutorial videos. And I see a lot of amazing players on website. Barely seeing some kind of tutorial videos in English. That's why I'm making it. Hopefully you enjoy this one. Thank you. If you want to see um, how this instrument sounds, you can click my other videos for reference. Bye.